Family, what is up? It is Friday, four o'clock sharp in Chicago. D. Slav is in the house, fixing a little grub for a rose. Uh, it's Fridays with Flav. The best time of the week where we get to make a epic meal. Tonight's meal is gonna be pretty epic. Uh, kind of came from you, a few different ideas. I'm like, let's just go all out and make a really indulgent but healthy-ish meal. Uh, Desi's fixing up some blueberries. What else for Rose? Some pear. Some blueberries and pear. Yeah. Sounds good. Cooked in some uh, coconut oil, Thrive Market coconut oil. Um, so let's get rocking and rolling. Uh, say hi to Art, hi. the man behind the hi, camera. Hi, everybody. Say hi to Desi. DJ Dislav in the house. <laughs> DJ. I didn't know you were the DJ tonight. Sounds like a DJ name. That actually sounds pretty cool. Um, and I'm your host then, Bobby. Rose is in the background. The menu tonight is going to be great, but before we get to that, you know the drill. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner. Here's what we're doing tonight. We're making homemade-ish, semi-homemade pizza with pulled pork that I just made ahead of time, paleo pizza crust, raw organic grass-fed cheese, a little bit of red sauce with Alfredo sauce, some vegetables, the pulled pork on top, maybe some barbecue sauce. We're going to make dairy-free coconut and ice cream milkshakes and we're gonna make also a salad to make it healthy all right because if it's a kale salad then it's healthy <laughs> tyler gurdon tyler i'm so glad i made it hey Ty guys. i have a feeling tyler you're gonna be here from the time you leave to when you come back because we ain't going around anywhere you know um so that's what's going on i had to start the pork ahead of time because i didn't want to wait 45 minutes that was going to be hot the oven's going to be hot we'd be no schwitzing together to yeah no one wants to wait for that we started ahead of time but when i open this in a minute, I'm going to show you what we use. We use Thrive Market pasture-raised pork butt, which is actually from the shoulder. Ooh. Isn't that crazy? The butt is in the, the shoulder. The butt is in the shoulder. It's opposite day. Um, it's the most amazing pork, whether it's the bacon, the pork chops, whatever it is. And we got to give it up. Every Friday, Thrive Market is the sponsor of the channel. They've been a sponsor of the channel for over three years right now. Everything you normally get at the grocery store, whether it's organic, paleo, keto, gluten-free, you can get on Thrive Market online for up to 30% cheaper. The box comes to your door, and they have some of the most amazing meat, seafood, uh, but pork. The pasture-raised pork that we're using tonight, and the bacon I'll show you later on, is next level. How good is that bacon? So good. It's my favorite bacon. Yeah, it's paleo because there's no sugar. It's pasture raised from a small, small family farm in Georgia. It is phenomenal. And like always, even though they don't have to because they're so busy right now, down below in the description box is a promo code. It'll take you over to my pantry bundle. And if you sign up for a year long membership, you'll get a $20 shopping credit. It's worth it. You're going to save a lot of money and um, check out the pantry bundles that I built on there. So thank you. We'll talk uh, more about Thrive Market pretty soon. All right, the park bundle is sold out right now. I'm here. That's because so many of my fans bought it, and I bought, I bought uh, two of them the other week. So it'll come back really soon. But it's the real deal. It's not factory farm pork. There's not an endless supply. It's a small farm. So when demand goes up like it is now, they just run out because they don't have many pigs. So what would you recommend for Zara right now? Hello, Zara. By the way, hey, Zara. You don't eat pork. What's the other alternative? Um, beef. Uh, beef short ribs, pressure cooked the way we're doing it right now would be great because they fall apart. I pressure cooked it in bone broth, in sugar-free barbecue sauce, and a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. And the bone broth I used, I used a uh, kettle and fire bone broth. Really, really great ingredients with quality pork that just falls apart. So darn tasty. So, oh, uh, what's on my shorts? These are little lobsters right here. I found this one time at Nordstrom Rack. I wish I could find more. I want other crustaceans and animals on here one of my favorite shorts but they're gonna get worn out pretty soon i feel tracy's Hello. making flounder with salad of olives and carrots and roasted red peppers Woo! and pasta made of red lentils that sounds grand maggie b's in the house so guys jill chopsky's here the wine we're not gonna do wine today jill i might put a little booze in my milkshake we're gonna make uh that's it we were talking about you before we started jill because i couldn't find the red finger peppers but i did find a red jalapeno which is a more mature uh, green jalapeno. And we're gonna garnish our pizza with that. Art said it's gonna make Jill happy and I said it's gonna make Art happy too. All right, let's see what, oh, Teresa got the cookbook. Let's see what's going on. So here's the pressure cooker. Let's just open that and see what happened. So the reason why I did this ahead of time is cause it takes about 45 minutes. Make sure there's no, stand back for one second. It might be a little, just a little bit left. I mean, it's really easy. 
but I didn't want to wait 45 minutes and I figured with this on and the heat on from the oven, which is going at 450 with a pizza stone inside the oven, very important when you're making pizzas, a little too much heat might be created. So it's a two pound Boston butt or pork shoulder in there that as it rests now, because it's very important after you pressure cook something to let it rest so the, fi the fibers, the protein kind of relax, it's gonna be super tender. Now look, this has been sitting off the heat for a good 20 minutes and it's still boiling in there. But look at that, you guys. I mean, that's, that's good. And I'll probably use a little extra barbecue sauce to, uh, to maybe garnish the pizza with so we can do like a little bit of like a barbecue style pizza. But that right there, I just wanna let it sit in the juice. Are right, you like of the juice? I like it. Our right, likes of the juice, right? That way it kind of cools down a little bit. And the more importantly, it becomes a little more tender. So besides that, all we have to do is fix the pizza. We're using this. This is <clears throat> paleo almond flour crust from Capello's. You see me talk about it on Instagram stories. They're not keto, but they're paleo. And actually this whole meal would be paleo if I use only vegan cheese. This is my favorite vegan cheese brand. I used to call it Voix Life until Art's like, uh, I think it's Vio Life. I think it's Vio Life. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Where are you blocking it? There we go. There we go. Right, it is the best quality uh, plant-based cheese out there, but I wanna mix in one of the best cheeses you can buy for your money. It's uh, the Organic Valley raw grass-fed cheddar cheese and organic. This stuff is amazing, amazing. So if I wasn't using real cheese, I can make this 100% paleo because there's no gluten and there'd be no dairy and no legumes. Okay, I think the first thing we should do is probably just get a pizza in the oven. Why wait? So, Question for you guys. Should I put the pulled pork on there the entire time it bakes for 15 minutes or should I wait for the last five minutes so it doesn't get dry? What do you think? Once again, crowdsourcing. This is what it's all about. Oh, here's my girl, Rose Honey Bunny. Here's my question for you. If you put it on in the last 15 minutes or whatever you said, is it gonna get nice and crusty or do you need to have it on longer? Well, yeah, how crusty do you want it? So Jeffrey says last five, last five, wait, 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 everyone's saying wait. Emily, Paul says $5. Emily. My boozy milkshake brings all the boys <laughs> to the yard. Love your channel. I'm glad you said that, not me, Emily. <laughs> this milkshake will bring all your boys to the yard. Hopefully your kid's coming from the yard. Uh, everyone says wait. Is the crust keto friendly? No, it's paleo friendly. The ingredients are crazy. I didn't save the box. Yes, I did, I'll show it to you. A little close up of Rose Honey in the house. Here she is, the one and only Rose Honey Bunny Parish. Shaheen's in the house. Shaheen, say hi to hi, Shaheen, Shaheen in Dubai. Hi. Say hello. Hi, honey bunny. <laughs> and Ron Ryder, 9.99. Ron. Hi, Bobby, Desi, Art, and Rose, honey from Florida. Just got an almond cow. It's amazing. You should check it out. Uh, Ron, great purchase. I, you should have used my promo code because what do I have right behind this? Almond cow. I'm showing Rose. Oh, there's an, there's an almond cow right there. It's the best nut milk and seed milk maker around. It's awesome. Chris Raitano says, mash a small amount of cold ghee into the pork and cook the entire time. It's a little risky. And Tyler says, $2.99. Rose is the cutest baby. Oh, you're, that's her, you're the sweetest. I agree. She is the cutest. And thank you, Tyler. Very generous. You don't, the ghee idea, you're not going to go there? I'm, I'm nervous. I don't want to ruin that pork. So. It's a semi-homemade pizza. I don't feel like making pizza crust. I will say one of the best tips you can do is if you don't want to make your own pizza and you don't want to buy the store-bought, call your favorite local pizzeria. They will sell you the dough and they'll usually roll it out for you for like literally $2 a pop. We used to do that with the gluten-free crust, but I don't want those crusts full of a lot of rice flour and potato starch. This just has a little bit of tapioca flour in there. Let's go for a little mix. I'm going to put down Rayo's my favorite Bobby approved sauce on the market, and a little bit of this dairy-free Alfredo. This is now, now on Thrive Market in a lot of grocery stores too. The combination of these two, so darn tasty. So that'll be the base of our za. I love two sauces together. Yeah, we made this actually recently. And the, the two sauces together were heaven, heaven. Okay, so that's our base. Now we need cheese. 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 Um, many grocery stores will have this. You can't get fresh cheese on Thrive Market yet, but you can get a lot of the pantry staples we're using for this. Uh, so make sure to check that out. And 
I did build just for the quarantine a pantry staple bundle. So when you click that link down below for Thrive Market to try them out, it will take you to about 21 or 22 of my favorite healthy pantry staples, many of which are in the box we'll show you later on, including my new favorite coconut oil. Uh, the Thrive Market cold pressed whole kernel coconut oil is a game changer. It's the best one that I or Desi has ever tasted or baked with. C. Jove says, can you say happy birthday to my wife, Amy? Amy, happy birthday on this beautiful Friday. I hope CJ is making you a great dinner today. Hopefully pulled pork pizza is on the menu. I know uh, Rachel Murray, who she hasn't joined us yet. She has all the ingredients. She emailed me and told me ahead of time. So let's take some of the cheddar. Taylor asks, are you sharing just one pizza? No, no, we have three crusts ready to go. Desi and I usually eat our own pizza. Inbar's uh, sending greetings from Israel once again. Welcome nice, again. Inbar from Tel Aviv. Shabbat shalom. So if you're just joining, here's the menu. We're gonna be cranking pizzas all night. They're gonna be really high quality, paleo-ish pizza if you use the plant-based with best in class ingredients. We're gonna be making vanilla, no sugar added milkshakes. And we're gonna make a little kale salad. It's really like an indulgent but healthy-ish meal using best-in-class ingredients from the grocery store. So before I put the cheese on, let's just put, Dusty loves onions on a za. Let's put some onions and maybe a little bit of orange peppers on there. What's everybody's favorite Dusty wants to know what your favorite pizza toppings are. I know Art's a big cucumber fan, right Art? Yeah. <laughs> like Kramer on Seinfeld? And Parkholt is Deutschlanding it up with you guys. Nice. I, I didn't know it was a verb, but I'm like... <laughs> what does Poppy say when Kramer wants to put the uh, cucumbers on the pizza? Well, you can't. And on this uh, topic, I have <laughs> uh, no uh, debate. <laughs> Poppy. Poppy's a little sloppy. Poppy got a little sloppy. <laughs> sausage. Yeah, sausage would be great. I'm a huge fan. You can also use the pasture-raised pork uh, ground sausage or ground pork Peroni. from Thrive Market. Shaheen has to go. Have a great day. Already? Day. All right, Shaheen. Have a great Shaheen. weekend. A little bit Shaheen. of orange peppers, which have to be organic in my opinion because they're dirty dozen. They're actually very dirty. I think so, bacon and onion is a great combo on pizza. Bacon and onion? Yes. Yeah. Back in the day, a long time ago, I do remember getting bacon pizza from like Domino's or something. But you need the onion with it. That's, yeah. I, I had it from Domino's. I used to love that. Yeah, that... I don't know why, but it was, I think my brother got me into that or something. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, I was thinking about cooking the mushrooms, but let's just do it raw. Do you put pineapple on pizza, yes or no? I don't, but to be honest, if you're gonna do a zao with uh, pineapple, this would probably be it because we have the pork that we cooked in sugar-free Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce, which is a great deal on this on Thrive Market, by the way. So actually, at the end of the pizza, I'm going to drizzle a little bit on when I put on the, uh, the pulled pork. Where did you buy that raw cheese from? Uh, Whole Foods. It's only available in the grocery store. It is a little pricey, but it's the best cheese because it's raw, grass-fed, and organic. And the flavor is amazing. If we eat cheese, which is rare, uh, we eat that. Last time I made a pizza with this, though, I was a little gassy afterwards. So it's the price you got to pay, you know? So we'll take some of the beautiful cheese here. Sprinkle it over the top. I'm gonna go some of that, and then I just, for the heck of it, just to make sure it's not too much dairy, I'm gonna take, who does a half vegan cheese, half raw cow's milk grass-fed cheese? This oh, guy, this guy does. Now, guys, the key to really making, in my opinion, a great homemade pizza is back in my oven. Come back yonder with me, Arthurion. The oven's going at 450. Now, if you have a pizza oven, good on you, right? But that is the best hack you can do. That's a pizza stone made of clay. And this one's actually from France. It's from Emile Henry. So it's actually made of uh, red burgundy clay, which is like super fancy. So that's gonna help make the crust get super, super baked and golden. And I wanna make sure I clean up this. There we go, the cheese. There we go. I'm gonna check that in 10 minutes and then throw on the pulled pork. Alrighty then. Um, if you're just joining, welcome. We're making healthy-ish homemade pizza with a semi-homemade pizza because we're using a crust that's already made. We're making vanilla, no sugar added, dairy-free milkshakes. Don't think many people do that. We're making a kale salad. We're having a good time. We got 760 people watching. We got a minute, so come back here. Look what Desi's using right here. 
This has to be a must when you try Thrive Market. It is a little more expensive than say the one from Costco, but this coconut oil. Regeneratively grown means it's better for the soil, but it's whole kernel and virgin. And I don't know what they do to it, as Art and I like to say, but this flavor and texture, Desi, isn't it the best? Oh, it's the best. Fantastic. So when you try out Thrive Market, try out that. Check out in my box over here. I always have the grass-fed, unflavored collagen powder. I'm obsessed, you guys. This is a more premium coconut milk. And I never bought it at Whole Foods because it's like $4, but it's $3 on uh, Thrive Market. And it actually is the creamiest, no guar, organic coconut milk I've ever had. Better than the Thrive Market brand, better than Trader Joe's. This is amazing. So check them out, you guys. Thrive Market is the biggest supporter of our channel. The way you to support us and support them is to try them out using the link down below. Oh, it's got breaking news, y'all. And Laura, I need a water. Laura Welch. $9.99. Laura, cheers this, to you. And there's more. This is Mrs. Submarine Chef. Mm. Thank you for your book. Wow. 20 plus years together and we are just now cooking and prepping a lot together. Wow. Yeah, Submarine Chef is a, a nice Yeah, word. Mrs. Submarine That's Chef. Mrs. I love to hear that. Chef. That's right. There, thank you and for that. And Cheryl Cross, $5. Cheryl, cheers. Art and I are sucking down some blood orange mm -hmm. S today. It's all. And Emily Paul, $5. I may be strange, but I love nutritional yeast in my pizza. No, that's not strange at all. That's vegan Parmesan. Hey, you know what video we filmed today? The multivitamin video. The best multivitamins for kitties, for ladies, bless you, for daddies and men. Uh, I spent like $250 on supplements because I can't talk about it at the store. Uh, but this is one of the best for men and women. This is the woman's one. It's called Pure Synergy. And you'll learn the video's coming out tomorrow. But the, the vitamin profile is so vast. The other ingredients are clean. It's one of the best. It is twice the price of like a Centrum, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Does Mr. Submarine Chef have a uh, super chat now? $24.99. Oh, I can't have my wife out give me on a super chat. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Keep up the great work. That reminds me, thank you so much, of the Mr. Submarine commercials in Chicago. What was their Mr. jingle? Mr. Submarine. But there was something before it. When you... Oh, it might be. Something like that. Is that the Scotty Pippen? Yeah, so a Scotty Pippen commercial. That was... uh, fun fact, I didn't know this. Ben Parkalt, keep in mind, he's in Deutschland. I actually had a Domino's pizza earlier today. Delicious for sure. Oh, my I God. I had Domino's in Germany. That's hilarious. That's Domino's everywhere. I Domino's didn't know stock that. and people, uh, Papa John's stock has gone straight up because everyone's at home ordering pizza. Hey, what is the best salad dressing from Primal? Jennifer Hodges wants to know that. I would say the Caesar one is great and the barbecue ranch is next level. Teresa Carver, H, I can't see her whole name, nine ninety nine with a number one fan of the dancing pair. Oh, one of my favorites. Thanks for that super chat. Thank Teresa. you so much. Love don't, that, hey, Teresa. Hey, don't forget about women over 50 for vitamins. What do you think? No, no, we, I got you covered too. That was just one little sample of it. I broke down the video by women women over 50, men, men over 50, and kids. And I also got chewables, chewables for adults in case you can't take tablets. Uh, the one I recommend, which uh, wait for tomorrow because I have all the links and everything, is the Garden of Life Organic um, Chewables. Amazing ingredients because a lot of chewables have sugar. They just use fruit juice. And the same thing for kids. The Garden of Life for kids is great. Some of the kids ones are atrocious. They had sugar or corn syrup, artificial ingredients, Yellow number five, blue number blarf. You don't want that. Really bad news. Did you spill your water everywhere, young lady? Okay. Was uh, Scotty Pippen's line in that Mr. Submarine commercial? Yeah, Scotty Pippen with the lovables. And he's like, there's a big submarine hanging from like a hook. And he's like, this is one six footer I can't handle by myself. Ladies, let's have a party. <laughs> it was so funny. It's like, oh God. When you sign one of the worst contracts in the history of NBA, you have to make really bad sponsorship commercials. Okay? Karuna Rose, $9. Hello, Flay family. Hi, my friend Rose. Karuna, your sweet friend Karuna. Hey, let's do another close up on Rose, honey, if you haven't said hello. To the love of our life, Rose, honey, Parish. Here she is. Here she is. Hi. Hi, Rosie, honey bird. What's your next course? What's your next course, huh, Bubba? Oh, yeah. Reaching out and touch someone? Is that what we're doing? Okay, let's shred this pork because it has to go on the pizza in about five minutes. It's gonna be very tasty. Unfortunately, Rose, you're not ready for this kind of pizza Another yet. Girl in the house. Nice, guys, keep leaving comments down below. Welcome to Fridays with Flav. 
Leave a comment down below. Let Stang us know man, where you're you watching are correct. from. It is Capello's crust. It is Stang Man. Stang Man in Austin, Texas. Now look at this. These are, this is the star of the show. This is a two pound pasture raised pork shoulder from Thrive Market. So Milwaukee I, Brewer, $8. Nice. Oh, have I love you this. noticed that all the Primal Kitchen barbecue sauces have natural smoke flavor? Um, not all of them have it. I have noticed that. And I have found out that's not necessarily a bad thing because natural smoke is made by distilling wood and capturing the flavor of the drop. So I haven't been 100% sure. But these are new ones. This is mango jalapeno. And this one, uh, this one still has it too. Uh, I'm still trying to confirm that, but still super, super clean with pineapple juice instead of uh, sugar. Amira Moncayo, 99 Amira. cent, and a drooling emoji. Tyler, Tyler Durden. Lawrence. Tyler Durden, 1499. Yesterday, I was shopping around Whole Foods. After walking around for nearly an hour, I finally found steak. I followed the video you posted about steak, and it was amazing. Thanks, Bobby. Love to hear it. Tyler, you're an awesome dude. Thank you. Now, I was saying about this pork. I said it's from a, fall, a small family farm in Georgia. They give the pigs there, Rose, a supplemental feed of peanuts and pasture-raised eggs because some of the times the eggs are hatched and they're cracked, they feed it to the pigs. So it's honestly, when you eat the pork, especially the pork chops, the rib chops, the marbling is amazing. So look at this art. And well, let me call this out here. We yes. got Joe oh Engelkraut, 99 cent with a dollar sign emoji and Karen S, 6.99 Canadian, new member. I've learned so much. Oh, from you. Thank, thank you. you Love to see new names. And then Rachel Murray from San Quentin. I think she's making the same thing I'm making because she emailed me that she has all the ingredients. She's drinking a glass of wine. She just sent over $30. Thank you to you. Look at this. I pressure cooked this art for 45 minutes with the barbecue sauce, the bone broth. And look how tender. Oh, muy jugoso. Oh, look at that, you guys. Yum, yum, yum. This is going to be epic. I want chicken. <laughs> I want liver. Meow mix, meow mix. Hashtag liver. Bobby. Primal Kitchen Pesto Mayo has an actual It flavors. does. What's I noticed that. that. I, uh, I, that's one of the few I would not eat from, uh, from Primal. I did notice that because they sent it to me in the mail as a new product. <laughs> Woo! Mamorsh. Look at this, you guys. Oh, mamacita. I got to try a little. Bite of that. I wish these live streams started at five, but I bet Rose would be super grumpy if they Yeah, did. no, no. That'd be bad. Because we need, not, not only do these streams take time, but Art and I have to clean when we're done, but we still have work to do. Working on videos for tomorrow. And then Rose has her, her bath every night at 6.30. If you disturb that, ooh, Lord, honey, you're in, you're in trouble. So look at this, you guys. Beautiful, right? Now, while it's hot, Can I want to take some of this. the meat first? Um, in an ideal world, I would, but today I didn't. It was just like total quick hodgepodgery. Because here's the deal. If you sear it, I mean, ideally I would do it in a really hot cast iron pan because I don't think the Instant Pot gets hot enough. I don't want to create more smells and heat in here. If I went outside and did it, maybe I would do it. Ana Guerrero, $1.99. I love your Spanish great recipe. Hey, que paso? Uh, la esposa de mi hermano se llama Guerrero también. ¿Qué pasó? Oh my God, how funny. Art and I did a story yesterday on Instagram. And I'm like, Art, remember what abuela told us when we were little niños? You have to uh, charge the tortillas in the fuego. My DM blew up. I didn't know you and Art were brothers and Mexican. Oh my God. I'm like, no, I was just joking. We're the whitest guys ever and we're not brothers. Okay, get back in here for a second, Art. Que paso, que pase, que paso, que pase. <laughs> Look at this. O M G. I just gotta fish out the fat here. Desi, will you please do the honors of tasting my puerco? I'm gonna chew the fat, dude. I'm, I'll I'm save that for you. With my butcher. I'll save it for you, Art. All right. What kind of vanilla ice cream are you using for your shakes? I'm using the Bobby Best in Class Dairy Free Sugar Free. I should say the only dairy-free, sugar-free one on the market. Do you guys know what that is? Wow. Ay, que paso. <laughs> See? I, I, don't, I didn't know this is a Mexican recipe or a Spanish Mexican uh, recipe. Andre Guerrero just got me excited. Okay. Okay, all right. Hey, what is the best beef cut to shred like carnitas? Carnitas, short rib is really good. Or maybe like, uh, what's another good fatty cut for that? What do you think? 
Brisket? Yeah, brisket would be really nice for that too. Okay. Come back yonder, Arthur. Yonder? And where would that be? Uh, by the solarium. <laughs> so this is looking fantabulous. Ooh. It needs another five or so minutes, but now, amigos, we can take a little bit of the pulled pork. Ooh, that goes on top. Yeah, Malasita. Put that in there. We could put oh, more. No. What happened? Oh, let me help. What happened? A little too much there. Where? Oh, you can spread it out. Thank you. Put that there. If you're just joining, this is the star of the, the uh, show tonight. Pulled pork pizza with paleo crust. So I think that's good. And then I'll just take a little shtickle of... The sugar-free BBQ sauce. Ooh, too much. <laughs> too much. Why don't you close the thing in the bar? You already closed it in the bar. Just a little more, a little more. Thank you, my dear. That pizza looks. Jackie props. Adam Spiegel, forty-nine ninety-nine. Whoa! Whoa. High Flav City family. We, we love you. I know. I'm walking. I'm not stepping back all the way. I, Jackie. I, I, Hi, Flav City family. We love you, and we love Rose. Thank you for all you excellent videos. You're so sweet, Jackie. Thank you. Two, I, th I think two more excellent videos coming tomorrow. I think every video is excellent. Whether they get big views or not, I don't care. There's always information. Tomorrow's video, like I said, is the best multivitamins for women, men, and children, from chewables to capsules. I got you covered with the be literally the best, and I'm showing you how to identify the worst. Sunday, it's the constipation video the top 10 foods to eat never that's my that constipation now never do that. when you're constipated <laughs> and then we're going to work on videos for um foods to avoid on uh, for high cholesterol um nutrient deficient stuff we're going to do more uh, anti-inflammatory foods we got lots more stuff y'all mm -hmm. i don't understand stangman's question uh, Serenity Therapist. Yeah, we're going to talk about the best prenatals. We're going to what other vitamins would you like to learn about? In my mind and on my paper, I have the best prenatals and the best probiotics. But you all let me know. Thing that says grams of sugar and H2O, Bobby. Oh, and this one, the one Is I'm drinking. About S? Okay. I'm A like... big fat, zero grams of added sugar, three grams of natural sugar. That's purely from the lemon and orange juice. That's it. Oh, this water. I'm kind of uh, water fish oil. <clears throat> Seniors. Yep, I got you covered. <laughs> I got you covered with the seniors. <laughs> the seniors vitamins. I got you covered. Amanda L got you covered $5. Do you have a good suggestion for a healthy, thick, reasonably priced balsamic vinegar? Hmm. You know what? I don't know off the top of my head. I would just say look at the ingredients. If they have any kind of sugar added to them, it's an immediate no. We go, we X them out, right? All right, you gotta try the uh, pulled pork. Let me mm -hmm. get you a clean spoon. <clears throat> I'm all choked up, I'm verklempt, it's so good. Talk amongst yourselves, where's the fat? Uh, I'll first have this piece and then you, you can have the fat piece. This is for art, this is the fat piece. Mm. Tasty. Oh, guys, you know what's good too? That's too much fat. If you remember, too much fat. We made pulled pork sandwiches with that paleo bread a few weeks ago, this is better because I actually cut the chunks of butt larger. My butt was bigger. And in this case, that's okay. Because the other times I usually cut them much smaller and I think they might dry out a skosh. I had a two pound butt I quartered. I think that was the way to go. Mm, there's a nice pick around there. This is delightful. Imagine mm, delightful. doing this with like 10 pounds, inviting all y'all over. Mm. I'm going to just have a big old party. Imagine if someone had a pizza oven. Let me just crank these all day long. Crank that soldier boy. Does coconut oil expire? Does coconut oh, oil absolutely. expire? Here's my question. Does any plant-based oil expire? Of course. But you're going to go through it way before that. And if you want to extend the shelf life, you would keep it in the fridge. We go through it so quickly, we don't worry about that. So the expiration date on this... Yeah, Adrian, it is pork butt, but it's shoulder. I don't even see where it is. Yeah, I don't see. We go through it so quick, but I'm telling you, this is amazing. We use this every day. What else do we use every day? Collagen. Why? It's great for your hair and skin, for your joints as you get older. I think a multivitamin, a good one with uh, collagen is a must. This is grass-fed, 100% grass-fed, 
unflavored. I put a scoop of this in my tea every single morning. If you make coffee, same thing. It's not gonna have any flavor. This is a must. It's literally a superfood, I believe. A ask, super nutrient. Ask Desi, what is coconut butter and how does it differ from oh. the Hold on, let me get the product so Desi can... Make coconut butter. Hold on, let me get next to you. Coconut butter, or another name for it, coconut mana, mana. is much, much thicker. Uh, there's more of the meat in here. Uh, it's very luxurious, very, uh, very fatty but it's very thick as well. Imagine like the texture of almond butter, but even a little thicker. Mm -hmm. And um, very different from the oil because this gives more of a, a more of a body to anything you put it in. Mm -hmm. uh, and we use that for our paleo uh, keto bread. Yep. Uh, if you substitute it with <laughs> oil, it's just gonna get very oily. Uh, yep. So Great stuff. It's delicious. You can just eat it with a spoon. The I'm price on Thrive Market for the mana is very, very good, by the way. Someone said, Jamie Oliver is the king of olive oil. Bobby's the king of uh, coconut oil. <laughs> I think Pete Evans is probably the king Julie of Niff. Pete Evans is the yeah. king of oil. I see a super chat. Julie Niff, $10. I may be plant-based, but there is just something about your cooking. Even the meat makes me so hungry. Have <laughs> you or would you do a Bobby approved body care or hair care video? Yeah, so that's gonna be on my list to delve into next. I think it only makes sense to start going into body wash, gotta protect the body. Body washes, lotions, goops, potions, all that stuff. Detergent, soap, stuff like that, right? Rhonda I'm, W, four ninety nine. got the cookbook in the mail today. It's beautiful, can't wait to start cooking. Thank you for all help, your videos. Help so, me, so Rhonda. This is so adorable. Love to hear that. Thank you, Rhonda. Somebody also asked, could you use like some form of chicken instead of the pork here? Oh, of course. I would use all uh, pulled chicken thighs. That would be an absolute great use. Excuse me. All right, you guys. First Rebe pizza. Rebecca Rob still hasn't used her coconut mana for anything yet. Looking for a good recipe. Anybody? Uh, listen, if you don't want to use coconut mana, just substitute it with runny almond butter. It's totally fine. It's still keto. No, she, she has coconut mana, but she hasn't used it for anything yet, so she wants to know. Hello? Google Flav City Keto Bread. Google, uh, Flav, what's, what's your other recipe that has coconut mana? Uh, you can put it in the almond milk. Almond, oh yeah, if you're making homemade almond milk, you put some of that in there to thicken it up. It is really, really lovely. Lovely. What are the side effects of having collagen in your coffee other than, the f other than foods? Well, it's hydrolyzed collagen uh, powder. So you want to have it in a liquid. You don't want to put it in food. But the, the benefits are endless. Good for your gut and your microbiome. Good for your joints, hair, skin, nails, teeth. I mean, I've heard from people who have like chronic knee or aches or in their elbow, and they take this and after 30 days it's gone because as you get older, your natural collagen goes away. Someone asked me the best place to get it if you don't have a Thrive membership, well, use my Thrive membership, but Costco has a big jug of Vital Proteins uh, unflavored Collagen uh, peptides, not the flavored pack, the big jug. It's a great deal. Michael, go to Amazon. The book is there. Yep. Cookbook is always on Amazon. Just search Flav City on Amazon or use my affiliate link down below. Have you tried almond nuggets from Costco yet? Almond nuggets? I haven't heard that one. Coconut nuggets I've seen from Eno Foods. Alan Beckman, $1. Thank you Alan, very much, thank Alan. thank you. Pittsburgh, yes, you are one hour ahead of us. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this is, uh, looks epic. Let me see how the crust looks. I think I need another minute or so. Do you know where my phone is? Um, is it sitting over there on that? Yeah, I think I put it over yonder. Oh, right so take a look, y'all. I think it needs just another minute or so to get. Do you own a pizza peel? Um, I don't have a pizza peel. But for a small pizza like this, I don't think we need it. I'll let it go another couple minutes. Alan Beckman, this is a Capello's. Uh, yes, let me show you the box. Pass. So this is not available on Thrive Market because it's a uh, frozen item. But for my money, and it ain't cheap, this is the best pre-made pizza crust at the store because not only is it gluten-free, it doesn't have any grains at all. So this is Capello's. I think it's $6. But look at these ingredients. Okay, cage-free eggs. That doesn't mean anything. I prefer pasture raised, but no one makes it with pasture raised. More importantly, almond flour, little bit of arrowroot flour as a starch, cassava flour, starch, coconut milk, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, don't be silly, psyllium husk, lemon juice, apple cider, and honey. Macros, is it keto? Well, no, it's not keto, but it's paleo AF. Look at that, it's got a good amount of protein. 
one of the cleanest pizza crust on the market. Um, expensive. They also make pizzas, but they have cheese on there that's not organic or grass-fed, so I wouldn't bother with that. Deidre, somewhere on your screen there should be a dollar sign, and that's if you want to do a super chat. That's how people do it. You probably have to set it up if it's your first <clears throat> time, but that's how you do it. So, yeah, very important. So, when you don't want to make a crust, well, buy the best in class. They also have it at Walmart for the same price as Whole Foods, though. And then, hey, you, you don't want to make marinara sauce? You want to, you want to use a store-bought pizza sauce? Well, even though Rayo's isn't organic, it's one of my favorite in terms of ingredients and flavor. You want to make it creamy but dairy-free like I do. This Primal Kitchen Alfredo sauce is bomb.com. And how am I going to make my dairy-free, no sugar added milkshakes that bring all the, her hey, voice to the yard? Stangman, Stangman saying that you should use convection for this pizza. It'll crisp up the crust really good. All right, we'll do that for the second one right and now. And Amanda Esposito is saying and giving $9.99. Hi, Bobby. Paleo cookbook in the works yet? Uh, Thanks for that super chat, man. Paleo. Um, the next cookbook is in the works, but it's not 100% paleo. So I think you'll be happy with it, though. I can just tell you that. It's so funny. My oven makes me set a timer when I'm doing a convection bake. How am I making the milkshake? No sugar added and dairy-free. This is the best. No sugar added, dairy-free ice cream on the market. We've talked about it before. The only knock on this is unfortunately for all flavors, they do use natural flavors. You see it, Art? Right there. It's right there. But this is one of the cases where I'd rather have the natural flavors than 18 grams of added sugar. Some have as high as 28. Look at those macros. We're gonna put this in the blender with almond milk, a touch of frozen banana, coconut milk and coconut cream, raw cacao from Thrive Market, happy days are here again. And I mean, come on, right? That's exciting. Okay, let me check the za. I'm gonna take the za. It's gonna go straight onto a sheet tray with a cooling rack so uh, the crust doesn't get soggy. Okay. Beautiful. Oh yeah. You're looking like you wish you had a pizza peel. I do. I do wish I had one, to be 100% honest. Okay. It's a loaded pizza. Typically, you don't want to load these too much, but OMG. Look at that, you guys. Hello, that is, Marie Arthur. Nice last name, by the way. That is ridiculous. Are you showing the other two pizzas Taylor wants to Of know? course. We're going to throw another one in right about now. Right about now, funk so brother. So what do you, now that you have one out, do you think uh, putting the carnitas in same time or earlier? Or what are you thinking? You got experimentation oh, here. Well, you got yeah, evidence. I mean, we haven't eaten it yet, but it does have nice color there. If I just touch it with the back of my finger, it's crusty but not dry. I mean, we can experiment if you guys are open to it. You said you vote, you decide. This is all about y'all. <clears throat> all right. I, just polish off that S water. That has to cool a little bit. Then we're gonna get going on the no sugar added milkshakes. We'll Taylor. make more pizzas. Then we're gonna make uh, a little kale salad because why not, right? Taylor would recommend some basil or herb on that pizza. Yeah, I have parsley. Basil is too rich for my blood. Uh, you guys, we have almost 13 people, 100, 1,300 people watching. If you're just joining, please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We're making healthy-ish pulled pork pizza semi-dairy, low-dairy, paleo crust. We're making milkshakes with no sugar added, dairy-free ice cream. We're making kale salad. And all of this today is sponsored by Thrive Market. I try to work with only the best in class in products and brands out there. To me, nothing beats Thrive Market. Look right here, Art. Right below the video is a promo link. They don't have to do this. Their, their business is up a tenfold right now. They're so busy, but I built a pantry staple page on Thrive Market. So once you shine up, sign up for a year-long membership, you will get a $20 shopping credit. And it'll show you my favorite pantry staples. But I would also click over and try out their pasture-raised uh, pork. But here's what's so cool about Thrive Market. After 30 days, if you don't like them, you'll get your $50 annual fee back. You get to keep that $20 shopping credit. So I say it's no risk. Worst comes to worst, you get a $20 shopping credit. So click the link down below, try them out. They're such a supporter of my channel and I try to spread the love because I think they're doing great things. And if you don't wanna to go to the grocery store, the box comes to your house. So thank you guys as always, I appreciate that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Taylor. 
Nope, I don't have any pepperoni tonight. Pepperoni. Pepperoni, that's right. I know, I wish they shipped international, uh, Adrian. Um, the Mammoth Keto Ice Cream. Yeah, I talked about that. So if you want to learn all about ice cream, we have an ice cream review from last summer. Search Flav City Ice Cream on YouTube. The Mammoth is good, but the flavored ones have natural flavors. The vanilla one and maybe the chocolate one is clean, but yeah, it is good. Thrive Market just added a pasture-raised chicken box. Really? Because they actually technically didn't have pasture-raised chicken before. I got to check that out. That sounds oh, great. Deidre figured it out with the super chat. Deidre, my gal. Flav City family, you guys are amazing. Keep on providing us with the real deal and sharing Bobby approved products. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love Thank Andy's. you for that, Deidre. Thank you, You're Deidre. so sweet. All right, let's, should we get the second pizza in yet or should we move on to, let's get the second pizza. This still is cooling just a smidge. Let's get the second zion. Listen, any ingredient or topping you want, you do, it don't matter. I would just say with this kind of pizza, Less is more. You don't want to add too many toppings. I think the one we did right now is maybe the limit because it will kind of uh, be a little too heavy for the crust because there's no gluten in the crust, remember. Do you, do you find that dairy-free cheeses melt like regular dairy cheese? No, absolutely not. But look at this. Can you tell that it didn't melt well? You have to give the dairy-free cheese more time and higher heat. If you don't give it a good time, it will look bad. But look, there's no way you would know there's some dairy-free cheese mixed in there. Now, I have a whole video about cheeses. A lot of dairy-free cheeses have suspect ingredients in there, and they're still not the cleanest thing. But if you're dairy-free and you want cheese, the uh, Violife is the best option. Unfortunately, it does have vegan natural flavors, but there's really nothing you can do at that point. Taylor wants to know if you dip your pizza in ranch. I do think mm. it's a great combo. No way. Uh, you know what? I don't do that, but if you were going to do that for a pizza... This would be the one, and I do have some really good, oh, let, let's try it, let's try it. I don't have ranch, but a company in Canada, A, eh, sent me some amazing uh, salad dressings and ketchup using date as the sweetener. Let's try that, well, let's try it. But sure. typically I'm a purist. What's your oven temperature set to? It's on convection? Yeah, so end. convection now, I said 450, which means it's doing 425. How does that sound? Should I go higher, Chris? Chris wasn't willing to, well, yeah, he wasn't the one asking. Somebody just wanted to know. Yeah, but maybe yeah. Chris will say, yeah. hey, maybe bump it up. I was doing 450 before. Parsley hack, if you don't know it, when you get home from the grocery store, wash your parsley, cut one half inch off the stems, put it in a mason jar, cover it with a plastic bag you got from the store, change the water every three or four days. It will last you for 14 days. It's one of the best hacks I know. Brad Parham is thinking that that pizza needs some scallions on it, that first one. You know what? I have green onions. And Stangman saying, bump it up, in my opinion. Wow. Bump it up to what? Max? Give us the number, man. You know what? That might be a good idea. Because you really want to get the hottest oven possible. Green onions. Great call. What about the anti-caking agent in the BioLife? Is it safe? Um, yeah, no, it's safe. The only thing I don't really love in here is the natural flavors. The anti-caking agent is potato starch, not GMO corn starch. So this is one of the cleanest of plant-based cheeses that aren't the cleanest in general, but hey, if you want cheese and you don't eat dairy, that's the best you can do. Vanilla, that machine behind Bobby is a Thermomix TM6 and he has used it in countless videos. Yes, hopefully, I'm waiting for the approval on the video I made. Hopefully next week, make sure you're following me at Flav City on Instagram. Hopefully next week I'll give away uh, one of those. Stangman saying hot with lots of air too. So okay. Should Bobby max out or what are you what are you saying, Stangman? I think, I, think, I think max is the call. Somebody said 450. Somebody said 500. I think. Uh, so let me see what the max is for convec. So Stangman says 450. So 450 on convec that'd be 475 regular. So 475 for I'll just put one hour on. Taylor, there. I haven't eaten much in the way of Thrive products. I've had some here and. All uh, right. They sent me home with some collagen powder. It's cranking that soldier boy. Good, but they got good stuff. I don't order them, but I've had good stuff here for sure. All right, we're there. Sarah Winmuller, you have an awesome birthday date because mine's the same one. Nah, so, nice. Happy early birthday to you. Make sure we'll, to we'll tune in for that. We'll celebrate next Friday. Whoever told me, by the way, to put the green onions, great call. Because Brad Parham. Brad, Brad's on point. Brad asked maybe the best questions on the channel because green onions and uh, and that go together really lovely. LB Morgan, $5. Hello from the Pelican State. New fan, love your channel. Thank you for that. Which What's the Pelican, Pelican State? State? I don't even know. Is this a nice pizza peel? Yes. No Pelican uh, cases. <laughs> All right. 
we can't wait anymore. Let's cut into this pizza. Cool down nicely. And we get, here's my pizza peel, but it's not a proper one. Right. Proper. All right, here we go. Hey, Desi, come on over for a bite oh, of this. Louisiana's a Pelican that. State. That's All what right. I thought. I was going to guess that. Hence the New Orleans Pelicans. Nisa, Nisa Garcia, four ninety nine. Bobby made your cheddar biscuits, sent them to your email. Turned out amazing. Mm. Would, rec would you recommend LaCroix Original? Yeah, Original's fine. Let's see Nisa's cheddar biscuits. I saw the email before I started. Check this out, Art. Here's her email. Let's see... Really quickly, boom. Look at Nisa's Cheddar Bay biscuits with a side of butter. That's gonna make art. Look, Nisa, who's watching right now, made these. Wow, amazing. Good for you, Nisa. All right, back to live TV here. Ooh. Look at this, babe. All right, this is looks, it, babe. it's pretty loaded. I think we hit the max in terms of capacity. So let's cut the za. <laughs> I'm straddling the pizza wow. here. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be epic. Let me grab a plate. Uh, gaming's finest one. No, have not made the shakes yet. So stay. No here. shakes. You're plenty more coming. We're making shakes. Milkshakes, McGee. We're making more pizza. We're making salad. Nada made uh, garlic bread with Desi paleo bread the other day. Ooh, that's a great idea. Marie Arthur, uh, we're not sure yet. Still garlic on the menu. Ooh. All right. Pieces here. Wow. Cheryl Lil Balder, thank you. As you should. Hello, right back to you. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I lift this up. All right, look at that. Mm. Oh, look at that it's very direction. hot. I think it should even cool even longer. Mm. It's hot, yeah. Right? All right, let's see here. What the fuss is all about here? Ooh, it's very hot. Too hot. Too hot to handle? Are you burning your mouth or no? <laughs> Somebody needs an S. Don't burn the roof of oh, your mouth. Wow. That is really good. That's really good. The pork. I want to try the next one with all uh, all of the real cheese. Because sometimes the vegan cheese makes it a little slippery or slimy, I think. But man. Do you think if you saute the veggies first, the crust would be crispier because of less moisture while it bakes? It would definitely help. Another but, pithy question from Brad Parham. I don't think the veggies are making it soggy. It will help, but exactly what it's well, the oven's hotter this second time around, so mm -hmm. that might mm -hmm. prove fortuitous. So good, babe. So good, right? Oh my god, this is so Bobby, you're sweating. Of course I'm sweating. It's 100 the degrees so, in here. The sauce is really delicious. It's your favorite sauce, right? On the bottom, yeah. And you have, like, this delicious pork on top, cheese. I mean, it's epic. This, this is like a meal. It's like... It is a meal. <laughs> yeah. It's a small pizza, but it's, like, yeah. it's a meal. This one's better. Because if you have too much of that vegan cheese, it acts like a little bit of a oil slick. I want to do the second one without it, but this one, so, mm. that's better. Mm. My, probably my favorite pizza we've made. We've made a lot of zuz. It's, it's a bold my statement. Favorite, yeah. You finish your piece and then hold the camera so Art can come in here in real time okay. and try one too. I'm going to give Art a better slice than this one. This one's a little sloppy. Next one, we have higher heat. We have... Uh, 100% real cheese for this one. And I might do a little lighter toppings just so it doesn't weigh it down. I'll let Art pick his piece. How about that? Hey, I'm making Bobby's red cabbage crunch slaw. I don't have tahini. What else can I use? There's no replacement. I would just skip it. Totally fine. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That is true, Maria. This is Dynacity. Wow. All the flavors work together. Right? That's my English. Mm-hmm. Alright. What about, are you making that milkshake? Um, of course I'm making the milkshake. Alright, Arturian. Alright. Arturian, get over here. Mm. Oh, this is mine. Oh, no, no, no. Make, your, make a new one. Pick a piece that uh, is more set up. Is this my plate? Yes. And then if you need to use this to get it off, here you go. Thank you. I'm going to put another za in the oven. 
barbecue pizza. I never thought I would like that. Right? It's amazing. I think a purist would say it's sacrilegious, but I don't roll like that. You got enough light on the talent? <laughs> I got light on the talent. Hello, everybody. Taylor wants to know if Desi likes the vegan cheese. Not especially. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I can't handle too much dairy, so what are you going to do? Randy. That's a darn nine tasty nine. piece, though. Thank you. Darn tasty pizza. Right? Man. Now, what do you think of the texture of the pork, knowing it was in the oven for five minutes? Texture's good. I would like the, the pork crispier. Oh, yeah, let's do it That's longer. just my taste. Should I do it the whole time this time? I'm fine let's with do the it. consequences. Should we do it? Art's fine with the consequences. Are you fine with it? Rose looks like she's fine with it. Huh? Rose is having I'm a great time with it. For everybody else, but it wouldn't, it yeah. wouldn't bother me. This I'm would be good. fun. If we had all 1,500 y'all over here right now, Maybe not in the house, in a big pizza oven in the back. A fire coach, yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd be a lot of fun. So, yes, do it. Go for it. Brett's is a quick broil. Well, it's going to be it's still on convection bake. I can't broil the pizza, sure. but yeah. Isn't this great? Mm -hmm. The flavors are really balanced, too. Not overly sweet. Complex flavor profile. Well said. Now, here's the deal. It's a semi-homemade dish. But does anyone know? No. Does anyone care? No, and it's still relatively healthy, thanks to the paleo crust, thanks to the Rayos and Alfredo Primal Kitchen. You know, those are great things. Like I said, the sauces you can get on Thrive Market, uh, the barbecue sauce, stuff like that. It's just, it makes your life easier. You can't make everything from scratch. Okay. Make your own cheese. Yeah, exactly. Make your own vegan Mil cheese. Milk the cow in the morning, wait nine months to let it age. Because we're actually using raw, Cheddar, it does have to age, I think, a minimum of six or nine months by law. But what's the benefit of raw cheese? The benefit is that it's never been pasteurized, so there's still living nutrients in there. It's very, very important. So now I'm going to use 100% real cheese on this is one. Is the Alfredo vegan too? Yes, it is. It's the best thing. Show it right over here. It's the brand new to the market. Primal Kitchen, dairy-free Alfredo with cashew sauce. It is insane. How good it is. It's pricey, but it's really good. It is cheaper on Thrive Market than at uh, Whole Foods, I will say. Okay, now. Hang on, there's a super chat that somebody alerted me to that okay. I'm going to find and call out. Please do. Please do. We never want to miss those. Thank you. Thank you guys for being so generous, by the way. I appreciate that. So good, then. So good, right? Randy Karras, $9.99. Franny and I are trying to eat better in Lucky, Ohio. Thank, Thank you, you. Randy. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yes, Love to hear that. Uh, next one, do onion honey carnitas. That's it. Onion honey? Onion, onion honey and carnitas. Hmm. I want to keep the, the barbecue sauce is so good, you guys. I want to rock and roll with that. That's, it sounds interesting. If you were here cooking with me, I'd let you do your own pizza that mm -hmm. way. How about that? <laughs> Brand said... Never uh, heard of honey on pizza. Thanks for giving Art a better piece. You're a real pal. Yeah, that was a little too sloppy, right? That would have been too much of the vegan cheese. Do you think Art wants to eat vegan cheese or what he calls? Not cheese. Not cheese, no. Okay, this one is ready for the oven. It probably shouldn't take as long. That, that barbecue sauce is so good. And there's no sugar added. It's all uh, pineapple juice. Amazing. Wow. Lori so Gale, I insane, have to right? Lou Malnati's, Get another piece. you're asking me. Okay, and once again, I think the key is the stone. And then I think the higher heat this time is going to be perfect. Then Randy Chris. Karras, another super chat. $4.99. Franny and I, Lucky Ohio. Wow. Thank you so much, Randy. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, I'm not going to put that in a squeeze bottle because that would be a lot of work. But yes, yeah, squeeze bottles will be great. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. It'll probably take longer than that. Let's get going on milkshake. Can you source me the ingredients for the milkshakes, Ben? So a, I don't know what they are, Bebel. I'll tell here's you. A, here's an interesting one from Samantha O. Oh, yes. Ask Bobby. Have you heard of Rebel Ice Cream? Their explanation of natural flavors is interesting. I have heard of Rebel. Many companies' explanations of natural flavors are interesting, and they're all rubbish. They will always tell you what's in there, what's not in there, but won't tell you well, what's in there. Don't believe the hype. Leave Can the I have version. the ice cream from the freezer? Can I have coconut milk, a frozen banana, and almond milk? Lee Diversion says, a wee bit of honey on the edge of the crust and then sprinkled with sesame seeds. Wow, that's classy. 
Ah, this is good. See, now that cooled down a little bit. Best ice cream is Huggin' Dawes. Christian Hunter, okay. If you want a crispy crust, put the pizza straight on the oven rack. Mmm, that's a bad idea. I need a stone. Okay. Mmm. That pizza, you guys, is insatiable. Kelly, yes, I do. Now, do you guys have any recommendations? Here's what I want to do. What's going to make this the best in class milkshake is that we're using the only ice cream on the market that is not only dairy free, but no sugar added. It's made from so delicious. They have a few different flavors. I got vanilla bean. No sugar added. How do they do it? They're not using fake sugar. They're using actual erythritol. And I believe there's stevia here. Oh, monk fruit. Look at that. The only ingredient I don't like is natural flavor. <clears throat> but I said it earlier. I'd rather have natural flavor than 18 to 28 grams of added sugar. So this is the only one on the market that, look at that, is insanely beautiful macros because of the no added sugar. I'll use this as the base. Here's what I'm thinking. I'll use this, almond milk, coconut milk or coconut cream, a little bit of frozen banana, and then maybe we'll use a little teaspoon or so of the uh, Thrive Market organic raw cacao and make a chocolate milkshake. You want chocolate or vanilla milkshake? We'll make more than one. Let's start with vanilla. Oh, grab me the vanilla bean paste. Ooh, a pro move. That's a pro move. What is vanilla bean paste? It's the elixir of the gods because every teaspoon of vanilla bean paste has the equivalent of one vanilla bean worth of seeds. What so, I think that's it. Why don't you start loading the thermomix for me while I blabber away. So what do I mean by that? Well, look at this. The only downfall, every single one on the market has a little bit of sugar, which is not ideal. Oh, look at this. All those flecks, Bella Fleck and the Fleck Tones. They are a great band. <laughs> of seeds. Seriously, go check them out. I mean, this is insane stuff. So. That smells really good. Right, it does smell ridiculous. So People what? knock vanilla ice cream, they say it's boring, but I say, if you can do vanilla right, you can do anything. Vanilla is the most popular flavor in the world. I wouldn't say it's boring, boring, but hey, we're adding other stuff to that. If it's a good vanilla flavor. What was that for? Oh, nothing. Taylor says, no. ask Art, since you've heard Bobby speak about so many products at the store for so long, do you think you off? could review products and talk like Bobby? Turn it I off think I could. No? Uh, no, I'll leave it for Okay. Um, so let's scoop some ice cream. <clears throat> My ice cream scooper is right here. I haven't that had... Thermomix TM6 for whoever just asked. I yes. The name, but so we'll put your answer. a few healthy scoops. This is coconut based. This one? Yeah, coconut based, which is great because it makes it very rich and smoothie. Uh, smoothie? But I think uh, I like the one with the cashew. Oh, they, but they don't make uh, sugar-free cashew. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Like, so this is sugar-free? Yeah, no sugar added. They use monk fruit. Oh, cool. Yeah, monk fruit and erythritol. It's the only one on the market. I feel like uh, Jerry from uh, Seinfeld. It's the only racket that Milos will use. Okay, so... That's another point for Milos. That should be enough ice cream for one. Then... We'll take a little hit of vanilla beans. What? Do we have coconut cream or no? I don't know. I'll just open this one. I talked about it earlier, but if you're not here, there is coconut cream. There's a lot of cream in this. I love organic coconut milk. Exactly. The Thrive Market one and the Trader Joe's ones are my favorite. But this one, which normally is four dollars at Whole Foods, it's three dollars on uh, Thrive Market. It's a dollar more than the Thrive Market one. Has the best texture of any. Coconut milk I've tried. It never gets grainy or anything. I'm going to put a little bit of coconut cream in there. So look at this. This is the cream that floats to the top. And I'll add a little bit of coconut milk too. Then we'll add a little bit of frozen bananas. Where did that guy go, sweetie? You All right. said it's so little in the milk. Well, I'm going to add almond milk too. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of frozen banana for body. And then to keep it dairy free. Once again, we can make this whole dairy free by using vegan cheese in the pizza but I wanted to make it a little special right because you're special folks then we'll add a little bit of unsweetened plain almond milk not the vanilla one because they have natural flavors usually and not the sweetened one because they have way too much sugar this one actually from uh, Costco is pretty good I like to buy the one in the fridge case and then let's blend that up and see if we need more uh, milk then we'll get a nice glass here. And we'll make more. We'll make, let's make a blueberry one. We got fresh organic blueberries I got from the market. We got uh, raw cacao powder. Oh, what am I 
You don't have to set the timer. Um, Jenny Mae Hogan's in Green Cove, Florida, 95 years old, laughs and waves at Honey Rose each time we wow. see her. Wow. 95? Amazing. Mm. Wow. Uh, Ranger, we don't have Kroger, but we have Mariano's, and they are owned by Kroger. We've done a few, a few episodes in there in the past. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that over all that racket. Mm, that pizza, you guys. I'm going through every spoon in the house. Yeah. Uh, Inna Morgan, Art, has anyone told you that you have a voice of Jordan Peterson? I have not heard that. Oh, I'm yeah, not perfect. sure who Jordan Peterson is. So please, no. please tell me. Eli Lee, uh, Johnny P Wait. is doing well. I, I don't, no, leave it. I don't want to blend that anymore. Gonna get TBD too, uh, in terms of uh, when he'll be is it rocking with us in the uh, Wave City, What's that, some Wave ice City uh, dining room. No, no. It's done. I don't want to blend it anymore. It's going to get too soupy. How's the flavor? It's great. It blends nice. and it does a whole lot of No stuff. need to add sugar, right? All right, check it out, Ardio. Oh, yeah, babe. Look at that. It's the first milkshake I've made maybe in like 15 years. Vanilla bean, no sugar added milkshake. Brad Parham, Bobby's email is bobby at flavecity.com. Yes, it is. Send me an email. Uh, Christian, I'm going to agree with the same one as you, man. Uh, put it into three. Yeah, let's do three glasses. I just took them out, no? Jordan Peterson is a clinical psychologist. I'm going to need him. Wow, well, I, I'm being compared to somebody a lot smarter than me, so that's great. At least in terms of voice. All right, let's try this together, team. Tyler, four ninety nine. The super chatting machine. Thank you so much, Tyler. Machine, we're, we're machines tonight, all of us. He gave another four ninety nine donation to us. That's, That's great. Kind of, all right, try that. Kind of, I will. I gotta get caught up in these comments. You need some Bailey's in there. Wow. Man says. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the booze. Who's gonna put booze in here? We'll do it for the second one. Taylor says put it in the freezer to thicken. Yeah. It's okay. It's delicious. Yeah, you don't need a thicker. I'll put tequila. This Peterson dude and hear his voice. See if I agree. I don't have Bailey's. Sparks Carnival, five dollars. What wow. shows are you streaming or watching? So much. Um, upload on Amazon. I got into the Expanse on Amazon, even though Desi's not into it. But we need some more. To be honest, thank you for that super chat. This is delicious. The combination of the banana and the vanilla bean paste. What was it that says rum? Yeah, I don't have any rum. This is good. I got tequila. Mmm. Wow, we never get to eat like this, but dairy-free, no sugar added. Very low in dairy, paleo, pasture-raised. Ain't no one making zuz like this. I'll tell you that, sisters. Zuz. Ain't no one. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Adrian's gonna grab his low-carb Edelhoffen pills. What's that? Drinking beer. Pills? I think Pilsner. Mmm, huh? Oh my god. I'm not having Next Jill, one, Jill Chopsky really wants you to add some booze. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, we'll make chocolate tequila. Chopsky, I forgot to put uh, the peppers on the pizza for Chopskers. That's why you're making more pizzas. Let's go. <laughs> Travel Chick, $1.99. Coffee, milkshake. How much coffee slash almond milk would you put in there? Well, the milk, let me weigh it next time with the scale on the Thermomix. I would put um, instant coffee or espresso ground coffee in there. You don't want to use uh, liquid coffee, probably. That was darn tasty, Bobby. Mm, good? Yeah. Oh, mm, my God. Taylor, no, I'm not going to mind that the milkshake is vegan. Do you, do you even know that it's vegan, Art? No. I don't know. Fig cheese? You can tell. Coconut milk ice cream? You ain't telling nothing. Mmm. How could it not be good with ice cream? Well said. All right. Ten minutes. Let's take a look here, Art. Viviana. You just said Ooh. my name, but it would affect the All right, take a look at this one. I'd say yours. This one looks like it might be even better. Ooh. Oh, yeah, oh, man. It's not the cheese. Oh, though. it is. It's crispier. Is it? Hello, hello, Governor. What temperature is your oven at? Well, Sarah, I can help you out as a fellow May 22nd or 450 <laughs> on convection. Oh, yeah. 450. I'm going to go another two minutes, and I think that might be done. That was only 10 minutes. Two minute warning. Two minutes. <laughs> Stang man from Austin with the call there. Ooh, that is so good. That pasture raised pork is fantastic. Stang man has the best suggestions. To be honest, Stangman and, um, was it Brad? 
Brad Parham, yeah. Brad Parham ha have the best suggestions on the channel. Taylor, broiler is when you turn that heating element on at the top yes, of the right. uh, oven and it's shooting heat directly down. Convection is wow. a fan that's circulating the hot air. Oh, let's make another one. Conventional is just when you turn the oven on normal. Rose, order up, Rose Honey Bunny. Broil broiler is basically like an upside down grill. Honey Bunny, more food. All right, let's make a chocolate tequila. Mexican vanilla bean. Sugar-free, dairy-free, milkshake. Got food for you. Um, Jacqueline Riviera, Rivera says, maybe mix in some layered superfood creamers to the milkshakes. Or just throw in some layered Insta-Fuel. If and I don't want coffee now, I can't handle Tyler it. Tyler says, two ninety nine dollars super chat. Tyler Durden, thank you so much. You're, you're very, very, so all you guys are supportive. Thank you. So we'll go that, we'll add some. LB Morgan, $2. Cream. And with an E, Netflix, great show. Thanks for that super chat. What's it called? And with an E? And with an E. Hmm. Never heard Is of that a show, one. Co show called And with an E? All right, thank you. I appreciate that. And G Yoon Yoon, 999. Love your videos and recipes. Big fan. All right, thank you for that little añejo tequila. Just a little shot goes in here. Uh, uh, Ranger Cherry is suggesting cinnamon in the drinks. Oh, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, do that right now. Thank you. Terry, Terry too, just got your cookbook. Yeah, horchata. Hey, Thanks we made for getting the cookbook. Happy cooking to you, Terry. You're going to enjoy Thank it. Thank you. We made those horchata tequila uh, margaritas on Rose, Cinco de Mayo. Zara is welcoming you back. And then I think we have an open bag. Desi Josephine's husband lost 25 pounds by following your cookbook. Oh, that's what I'd love to hear. Josephine's husband. Okay, i got to add a little cacao powder. Bro, isn't this crazy? I, on a side note, all right, survey the scene here. Looks like a disaster zone, oh my which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Let me, let me answer totally Elizabeth's worth it. question here. I, I think the answer is no. Elizabeth V, can you use a clay tile purchased at hardware store instead of pizza stone? I've heard you want to be careful about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know about the, that. Uh, the glaze. Excuse me, Desi. Uh, I think Alton Brown may have done an episode about that. On my I'm Amazon shop page, I have one for like $25 or $30. I'm I'm I highly recommend that. I'm say no. This pizza looks even better. Taylor, you guys. I don't know. Oh, what that means. wow, look at this I mean, one. I know what Gemini is, but not into that stuff. So I don't look at this one. What that that convection. Stang man with the call. That convection bake was moneyosity. Convection bake. Hey! Hey! Are you having some vegetables now, my love bugger? Hmm? A little veggie top boys? Yeah, but. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's blend those. This is the chocolate tequila one. It's not going to be that loud. Hey. hey, Bobby. Alan Beckman wants to know, are you familiar with Rick Bayless, another fellow Chicagoan? I'd say we're quite familiar. He has our favorite restaurants here in Chicago by far. Ooh, Chandra's asking nutmeg. Ah, you guys are getting pretty posh now. I'm going to add a little nutmeg more. nutmeg would have been good in this one, maybe. The vanilla one, maybe. I'm going to add some more uh, ice cream to this one. This is so exciting. Is that a gluten-free crust? Yes, it is, Chase. Actually, yeah, it is, bro. Capellos. Look for them in your groceries frozen section. <laughs> Peanut butter chocolate chips. Yeah, that would work, too. All right, this one looks really grand. I think it's uh, interesting crowdsourcing ideas for milkshakes. Everyone's going to have an idea, and it's going to, like, overflow with comments. It's a good thing. Right, this one's a little chunkier. I don't want it that way. Wow. Thank you. you it's it's you so hot in here, it melts immediately. Banana on that one? I, oh, oh, that's why. I forgot to put the banana in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's sick. Ooh, that's tequila. The banana would make it even better, to be honest. Because it's not sweet, bro. Mm, it's good. No. Mm. It's sweet. The body. Body wash. Isn't the same. <laughs> Time oh, to wash the body. Now, this, this one's better, you guys. Oh, my God. I actually prefer it because the banana might add another flavor. Profile. Mm. They, don't, they don't want to make for flavor profile. Hey, let's make Texan Aaron's cookies and use the cookie dough in the milkshake. Somebody, <laughs> somebody said cookie dough. So. Actually, Capello's makes a cookie dough, and I have it in my freezer. It's an amazing dough. Was mm. the tequila just plain? Yeah, it was uh, Añejo. What does that mean? It's aged at least a year. This is okay. some of the best stuff you can buy. Typically, people drink it straight. They don't use it for milkshake, but we're not typical folks around here. Alan Girl says, enjoy. How I wish I could travel right now. I don't blame you. This is a treat. Oh, my Very God. Good, this one, the chocolate one. 
Should I even bother with the kale salad? What's the point? Ah, salad schmalad, right? Oh, this pizza is very appealing. Yeah, we gotta put another pizza in the oven. Yeah. Let's mix it up for the third one. Let's, let's do some different ingredients. What do y'all think? I mean, I don't have that much stuff, but we can figure it out. I like them just the kale way they salad. are. You have some tomatoes, throw some tomatoes on there. Oh yeah, I got fresh tomatoes. Right there. I was gonna use it as a garnish, but. Do you want a third, mi third milkshake too? Of course, I'll probably make a third one for sure. I will. It's an ice cream. <laughs> Brad Very Park. Similar to that other one. Terry, Terry Tube says bacon. Ba yeah, um, I don't have any, well, I don't have any cooked bacon. Oh, yeah. And uh, Brad Parham oh. is saying cheers to whoever updated the menu board. <laughs> yeah, no one's updating it these days. Oh. Add some kale on the next pizza, Chandra says. <laughs> okay. Mm. Absolutely dynamite. It's a good milkshake too. I, don't know I mean, remember uh, not that long ago we did a uh, healthy-ish burger and fries. That was epic. Now we're doing healthy-ish. That one was painful to watch from my in my iPad. And oh yeah, rocket. you weren't here yeah. for that one. That's right. Um, Brad Parham says tequila key lime pie milkshake. <laughs> How would you get the key lime pie flavor? Just lime juice, lime juice, and sweetened condensed milk. Only, that's if, only if they're key limes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, see, this one's better already. Look at it. It holds its, its uh, structure better. Wow, this is cool. You want some za? Or is like, you guys are literally eating the best. Look at the crust in this one, Art. This is better. It's more golden brown. The higher temperature on convec. Would that be MG? Was <laughs> Yeah. MGBD. Exactly. Wow. But it is important to let it cool down. It's a little too hot. Taylor, when I was in that rocket ship, I was drooling. My drool was getting all over the electronics of the rocket. It was bad news. It was I, a bad day to be in the rocket. I thought it was going to be like a worse version of uh, this, you guys. Apollo See, look at it. It holds its shape a lot better. It's still a little hot. I will let it cool down for a minute. So I'm going to put it dangerously close to Art so he can just drool. Hey, Rachel Murray just came through with $15. Love you guys. You've changed my life for the better. Rachel. You have my southern husband asking me to make sautéed kale and cabbage routinely. Fantastic. Loved it. Rachel from San Quentin works at San Quentin in SoCal. The beautiful things about things like kale and cabbage is they're high in fiber and they're, they're what's called prebiotics. So they're loaded with stuff that feeds your gut bacteria. And if you watch, raise your hand if you watch that uh, documentary I told you to watch uh, on Amazon called It Takes Guts. Your gut bacteria, and really the ones that live at the end of your intestinal tract by the colon, need to be fed fiber-rich foods, and that really supports overall health. Char Troyer in the house. Char from Michigan. Uh, the healthiest pizza with that good crust. Yeah, I really think it is. I mean, is it healthy? No, but for a pizza, is it healthy? Yes, because we're using a gluten-free, grain-free crust made with almond flour, not cruddy uh, rice flour, potato starch, all these simple carbohydrates, very few in there. We're using the best raw organic grass-fed cheese from Organic Valley. We're using uh, fresh organic vegetables. We're using pasture-raised pulled pork from uh, Thrive Market. Rocking and rolling. Shannon Best says, hello from Vienna. I want to know, Vienna, Austria, or some state here? <laughs> all right. Vienna, Virginia. Let's get the third uh, zone there. Not been to Vienna, Austria. Now, this brings us to another point. Are these ingredients cheap? No. But is it cheaper than, say, going out or ordering pizza? Oh, yes. Austria. Awesome. Oh, nice. Wow. This, oven. this pizza here, that's you know we're in Austria. How many years ago was that? 2013. Was it 2013? Sounds right. I visit a friend after going to Bulgaria. Yeah, that was fun. My, uh, my high school friend. Yeah. Austria is a beautiful Shannon. city, but it's very sleepy. Everything shuts down there at like eight o'clock at night. If you're, the weekend. yeah, if you're retired and you want to go to like the opera scene and the, the art scene, it's great, but it really is quite sleepy. Is there any food or vegetables that you don't like since all of you are foodies? Um, to I'm be not a big fan of uh, sauerkraut. That's right. We eat a lot of fermented sauerkraut here. Art doesn't love it. Uh, we eat pretty much everything, to be honest. I eat it, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> okay, let's get the last one in yonder. Rose is loving her veggies. As long as they're freshly cooked. Yeah, Rose is really picky. She doesn't love the leftovers. How funny is that? Like, excuse me, moi. Oh, no. We're talking computer code now. And I see Java. Oh. I did really horribly in that class. 
Yes! Yes, my love bug. Are you a happy little clam? I'll retake it. I think it's better this time. All right, once again, a little bit of Rayos and uh, dairy-free. That's what I was saying. Yeah, this is a slightly expensive pizza, but when you're getting a best-in-class crust, like a Capello's, sure, it's $6. It's more nutrient-dense, and it's still way cheaper than ordering any pizza from Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza? Papa John. No, Bobby's Kitchen, and your kitchen too, right? He and says, Papa John. It's more nutrient dense food. It's just better for you. It really is. They ousted that guy from his own company. Yeah. Kicked him to the curb. Papa John, whatever his Papa name is. Papa Flay. <laughs> <says. laughs> yeah, that's right. No one's going to oust me from here. And they ousted the other guy we're talking about, uh, um, George Men's Zimmerman Warehouse, yeah. from Men's Warehouse. Man, tough to be a founder of your own company and get boot. But like I said, they're doing great because of uh, tons of orders for the quarantine. I would make my own pizza. You could order all this stuff on uh, Thrive Market. What you don't order on Thrive, like frozen stuff and cheese, get from like Amazon Prime Now Delivery. Really, really good stuff, you guys. Does Rose favor a hand yet? My husband and I are right-handed, but both of our boys are lefties. Desi? Uh, it's hard to tell, but she's leaning towards the right. She, she's a righty, for sure. I'm a lefty, but she she's a righty. I can tell. It's okay. You do whatever you want to do, Rose, honey. Both my brother and I are lefties, so I was thinking, oh, maybe she'll be a lefty. Oh, Scotty P, too. Yeah, Scotty's a lefty, that. too. Isn't that cool? Okay. So, yeah, I always talk about it. Also, these kind of foods that are more nutrient-dense or just less inflammatory are going to keep you healthier longer. So, in the long run, yeah, it's more expensive now, but it's actually cheaper because when you eat gluten pizza with conventional GMO cheese, bless you, bad, bad news. You're going to be paying a lot of medical bills down the future. Uh, also, let's, you know what? Let's do this for this one, Art. Oh, I got to put the uh, Jill Chopsky uh, peppers on the uh, second pizza. Just a little bit. Desi, uh, Sarah Windmuller says hello to you. Hello. Are you going to throw on some tomatoes in there? Oh, yeah, the tomatoes too. Thank you. So this is going to be for the second pizza that just came out. I couldn't find red finger peppers today at the store, so I got red jalapenos, which are more mature. Just a little bit. A more mature green jalapeno. I put the rest on here. I have these tomatoes that I marinated in olive oil. I'm gonna put these on here so we have fresh tomatoes. If you live in the Midwest, and maybe they have it outside of the Midwest, there's a company called Mighty Vine Tomatoes. They grow them in Rochelle, Rochelle, Illinois. They grow erotic journey from Melanda Mint. Woo, doggy! Huh? Are you a doggy? Riff, 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 riff. Ah! They're fantastic. They're growing year round in a hot house. They're, they're amazing, Rose. Have you had them? Huh? Not yet. I have them right here. Oh, this is them. Here, Mighty Vine. Get the small ones. What do they call them? Rubinos? It says Rubino. Rubinio. 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 The Rubinio de Mate. Sounds del like Rubinio. They're delicious. It's happening this summer. <laughs> what else did I want? Oh, and the pulled pork. Oh, man. People are still talking code. How did that get started? I don't know. Talking code. Only, you guys can... How about you guys uh, I saw something. start like, working like, on building the Flavor City app like over there? Tonight to me, sort of. <laughs> Not really. I'd actually be interested to learn. Okay, a little bit of that. How many, does, how many teeth does Rose Honey have? Six. Rachel Murray, $10. No migraines for two Hi. weeks. Hi. Doing magnesium at night. Thank you, Dustin. Can you cut out the coffee too, Rach? Did you cut out the coffee? I'd love to hear that. A little bit of that sugar-free. Chopped cilantro, said Bran. You know what? I have chopped cilantro, but shouldn't that be a garnish? I don't know. I don't think we should cook it, but let's do both. Let's do cooked. <clears throat> I believe I have cilantro. Well, no, Papa John's guy got ousted from his own company. Yes, he did. Jill Chopsky, $10. <laughs> love you guys. Thanks for the peppers and the booze. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. I believe, yeah, here we go. This is leftover from uh, Cinco de Mayo. It's still fresh, which is nice. It's on its last legs, but it's all right. Uh, Rachel Murray said she did. Beautiful, Rachel. Love to hear that. A little bit of cilantro. We can do garnish, too. Typically, you don't uh, cook herbs like this, but why not? Do you typically make pizza with uh, almond flour crust and pulled pork and barbecue sauce? Adrian brings no. up a good point. Fun fact, Steve Jobs got ousted from Apple back in the day, too. Oh, that's right. Yep. 
And then he came back because they wanted him back. Okay. Every time you know, I hear people make references to ranch, I think Gaffigan is like, can oh, we end it with a ranch obsession? Ranch, thank you. I got to grab that right now. And speaking of Steve Jobs, people often say that Papa John Shatner is the Steve Jobs of the pizza world. Have you heard that? No. Because no one says it. <laughs> there is no such thing. I said ranch. Now, this company was a Flav City fan in... Uh, Up north in uh, Canada, eh? They I, we make... don't know what he did. Google him. Well, this hey, is Caesar. This is not Ranch. Open up another browser and Google Papa John's. Okay. So, let's try the second pizza here, Art. And then we can try with a little drizzle of this. Oh, this looks really... Look at the ingredients. Mother Shannon Raw and... Caesar. Shannon in Vienna is commenting how big refrigerators are in the U.S. They're huge, and I love that. Look at the ingredients on this, Art. In amazing virgin olive oil that's about as clean as they get you guys wow and it's refrigerated too which means it's not highly pasteurized that's nice okay so I'm gonna take does this come out here it's a little thick it's like ketchup now let's try a little bit with the Cesar on there the dilio is what the, look at this one. Oh yeah see that's better that high heat you guys look structural integrity money balls mmm that Caesar dressing wow mmm that crust oh you gotta try this mmm that's a serious grub that's serious, y'all. Oh my God. Is it Yahoo serious? Yes. From Young mm. Einstein? Ah, oh, but my lip. All right, try this. Switch. Shaky McGee. Shaky McGee. Put that Caesar dressing on there. I want to try it first. All right, all right. Be like that. Mmm. Crispy crust. It's better, right? And none of that slimy vegan cheese. Oh, that too? Yeah. Now, I might have some pretty bad gas later on, but... Who's complaining? Who's, well, Desi might, but that's oh. about it. You won't be here. <laughs> mm. Nice catch. Mm -hmm. Hard with the save. That's good. Right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, lordy. The dressing is just grand. That's a great combination. <laughs> Of flavors. Yeah. I mean, we're already breaking so many crazy rules right now. Why not go for it? But yeah, I, I don't know where to get it, but the company is from Canada, and they're Flav City fans, and they sent me some. But I would just use uh, Primal Kitchen Ranch, and the best price is over on Thrive Market. It's better than, uh, better than Whole Foods. So what really sets this pizza off is we're using best-in-class ingredients, but like I said earlier, it's the Thrive Market pasture-raised pork shoulder that we pressure-cooked. This pork is amazing. So in case you didn't hear me earlier, Thrive Market is one of the biggest supporters of our channel. We love them with a passion. They have all the best groceries for cheaper than the grocery store. And even the business literally blew up. They've never been busier in their life, but they still give me, because I'm a longtime partner, this promo code right here. You click that. If you sign up for a year long membership, you'll get a $20 shopping credit to use any way you want. But they're so cool that after 30 days, if you don't like it, they'll give you the membership fee back and refund you, but you get to keep the $20 shopping credit. Amazing company. Get their ghee, get their pork. All good in the hood, right, Arthur? Do it. Do it. Do it. So, by the way, we're at like stage nine disaster here. So we have this going on here. This isn't too bad. I've seen worse. It's... I've seen worse in this kitchen. I've seen worse, but the thing is we already did. A cleanup today, right? That is true. So we've already had one full cleanup. Minor detail. No, yeah, this is all good though. So, all right, let's see what's going on here. We've got halfway done in the pizza. Once again, big props to uh, Stangman Chris for telling us to pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance, dance on the oven temperature. It's a game changer. This pizza is a game changer. And uh, 
kale salad, wait for another day. It just seems almost like wrong to make a kale salad now, no? And I like a little bit of the heat from this uh, red jalapeno. All right, we got a few minutes, y'all. Keep the questions rolling in. Keep it piffy. Hashtag ask art, hashtag ask Bobby. Uh, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you are watching from. How much do the unflavored collagen peptides cost? I don't know. I will say that it's the second best deal to the vital proteins at Costco. And this is a fantastic quality grass fed one. Somebody earlier said mm. collagen peptides or collagen proteins. Uh, no, so <clears throat> collagen protein is a marketing gimmick. They use collagen peptides and put protein on top of that. Just go with collagen peptides. They have natural protein in there. And if you make a protein shake or a powder, add a scoop of that. If you want the best in class uh, Bobby approved protein powder, search my name and protein on uh, the interweb. How much for that awesome uh, blender machine? Uh, it's a $1,500 machine. It's really expensive. But like I said, if you follow me on the Flav City Instagram, it should be happening next week. We're doing a giveaway. There's gonna be literally probably 5,000 entries, but someone's gonna win it. And I believe they ship worldwide too. A pretty cool machine. Ask Bobby, what do you think of herbal coffee? <clears throat> herbal coffee. I've never heard of that. Brad, Not... Par Brad Parham sent you an email. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll check that. Bridget, Thrive Market's out of pork. Yeah, they are, because like I said, it's not mass market factory farmed pork. They'll get some more in. It's from a small family farm that only does top notch, best in class pasture raised pork. So wait a couple days. Use my link again. It's all good in the hood. I'll shoot them an email. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Sarah, yes, I'm right here. Are oat fiber and vital wheat gluten flour okay on keto? So technically, oat fiber is, because it's fiber, vital wheat gluten flour really isn't, but if they put enough fiber into the product that it has low enough carbs, it is. But we don't do keto like that because keto should also be gr grain-free and gluten-free. So don't be fooled by like, all these keto bread that has all this gluten in there, but then so much fiber bracks it out to zero net carbs. That's not the right way to do keto. Rachel Murray gave you $5 and said the story of my life, cooking right? and cleaning the kitchen. Sometimes I feel like Rachel, who's one of the biggest supporters of the channel, thank you, Rachel. I feel like the cleanup is harder than the cooking. I don't think, I don't think this is hard. And once you get into the rhythm of it, you're gonna get in the rhythm of the night. It gets easy, right? Jill Chopsky wants to know, how do you enter the drawing? Um, it, it hasn't started yet, but I'll announce it on Instagram stories and there'll be a post of me making probably either paleo bread or keto berry ice cream in, uh, the, uh, in my Instagram post. What is the best gluten-free pizza crust? This one right here. The Capello's almond flour crust is the best. After that, I'd say also low carb. Uh, the only low carb one on the market is Cali flour, not Cali Power, Cali Flower is a fantastic one. Cali, like California? Exactly, Sarah. Yeah, I know that they don't, the finger peppers must be in high demand. Too many people watch my videos. What if we don't have Instagram? Ah, uh, then you probably can't. Then you might want to get Instagram. Yeah, Bobby convinced me to buy organic oats at Costco today. Probably the same one that Art buys. Which one is that, Art? Bob's Red Mill. That's I right. I got it in Costco. Steel Great cut, deal. right? Steel cut, uh, big, like, I don't know how many pounds in one bag from Costco. A Best lot. deal ever. Uh, favorite pizza place in Chicago, Art? Uh, somebody asked that earlier, Lou Malnati's for me, and then somebody asked uh, Giordano's versus Gino's. I haven't had Gino in a long time, but Giordano's good. Yeah. Is ground beef on Thrive Market grass-fed? Absolutely, 100% grass-fed. But for me, what really stands apart for them is their, uh, their pork. Where, Where are the, the shakes, shakes already? Uh, the shakes were made already. I'm gonna make one more though. I'm gonna, we made a vanilla one and we made a boozy tequila chocolate one that was fantastic. I'm gonna make another one of those with bananas. A fish oil vitamin. I'll do a video about that, but Ancient Nutrition makes a uh, omega-3 one that's great. Most of the ones are pretty cruddy. When will you start traveling again? Probably not anytime soon. We don't have to go anywhere, Alan Girl, so why bother? Um, the place I really want to go, like I said, is to Tuscany because the guys who make the keto wine want to start a brand of olive oil with for Flav City. So I have to go there and learn about the olives and they're, they're really, really top notch guys who have like the best quality access to grapes and olives. So it could be amazing. Um, I don't know too much about slow cookers, Ranger Chef. <clears throat> How do you keep your arms looking ripped? Don't work out. <laughs> I, I haven't worked out now in probably 10 days because I just got lazy and I was very tired and busy. 
I pray to God the governor of Illinois opens the damn state, excuse my English, on June 1st because we got to get back to the gym. Christian, the Home Alone house is in Winnetka, which is north of the city. Uh, yes. Do I fast? No, I don't fast, but I do think intermittent fasting is good. Uh, is good. Uh, uh, the Pure the Elizabeth pancake mix is the best grain-free mix around. It is unbelievable. I'm probably going to have that for breakfast tomorrow. Okay, let's see if that is done. Oh, this looks amazing. Look at this, Arthur. So that's why you don't really put raw or fresh uh, cilantro on because it just turns into dry, but no big deal. I still want to go probably a couple more minutes on that. That looks great. Though. Are you house hunting? Um, Not yet. I think we'll begin soon. I think we timed it perfectly with uh, a downturn in the economy and housing market because of Corona. We could scoop a really good deal. So I'm pretty excited about that. But we're getting, our, we're getting all of our info ready, our tax returns, all that stuff, so we can finally move into a place with a kitchen the size of this place. How great would that be? We'll somehow find a way to make that dirty, too. Brad Parham says you could do coriander and then garnish with fresh cilantro. Uh, yeah, you could have put a ground coriander. Good point. Way to go, Viviana. Lost 25 pounds since the quarantine. Hey, Viviana, nice. I've lost six pounds. I'm not trying, but I've lost six pounds. Bob, yeah, I think our governor's California. Our second cousins and not from the smart side. <laughs> is that Ranch Primal Kitchen? No, I normally get Primal Kitchen. This is a refrigerated one from a Flav City fan who has this company in uh, Canada. It's very delicious. I don't think the housing market is going to go back up as quick as you think, furry felines. Housing market is usually a lagging indicator to the uh, stock market and the economy. And even though the stock market's come back, you're going to see a dip in the housing market. And that's when I'm going to be there to boom, pounce, pounce, pounce. I want that house, baby. Love my hair tonight. <laughs> That's the uh, no shower natural hair look. <clears throat> Have I heard of Mojo Coconut Water? I've never heard of that one. That's interesting. What is your best advice to keep healthy during the quarantine? Well, we actually have videos about that. And to be honest, it's all about eating, maybe not this exact food, but um, immune boosting, low inflammatory foods. So search Flav City Immune Boosting and Flav City Inflammation. Staying away from those foods and eating the right ones is very important in my opinion. <clears throat> Let's see here. Low carb pancakes waffle mix. The best one on the market is the plain high key, high key on Amazon uh, pancake mix. It's amazing. Can you make cloud tortillas? Wow. Uh, well, you could with the cloud bread. It might not have the right texture to be honest. Let's see. Okay. Are we done there? We're just about done. The last is about to come out. All right. Let's wrap it up. I'm getting the hook from Desi. Wow. The boss lady. It's 5.30. It's 5, 5.30. True, 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 my dear. Oh. But this one needs another couple of minutes, to be honest. Okay. Two more minutes. All right, Desi, come on over. That's it. We're, we're going to wrap. We got to finish the last za. Uh, got a lot of cleanup to do. We got to make more milkshakes. Uh, all that good stuff. We got to get the cleanup ready because... Rose has to take her uh, bath. 6.30 bath in exactly 55 minutes, which means I have to eat and scarf down as usual and clean. Awesome time hanging out, you guys. What a blast. Great time. Great turnout. Once again, support the channel by checking out Thrive Market using that promo code down below. One of the best brands out there. Um, and very, very happy they've sponsored the channel for over three months. Use my promo code. Pizza was great. Milkshakes were great. Pulled pork was epic. What a great time. Taking the weekend off. Tomorrow we got the multivitamin review for kids, adults, men and women. Sunday we got the constipation video. And then Monday we're back to the drawing board. We do it all over again. That's it. Rose says goodbye, right? Art says goodbye. Desi and I say goodbye. Art, go selfie style real quick so we can see you too. We will see you very soon. But Arthur T. Almasy, not the first, not the second, but the third. We'll see you soon. D DJ D. Slav, Parrish, we'll see you soon. Me, Bobby, we'll see you soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys. Woo, it's hot in here. See ya.